Oh my <laughs> word. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh. All right, so we're on our way down to manufacturing and um, Josh just uh, challenged me, I guess, to uh, building a regala wing challenge. And we're gonna do some kit bashing to do it. And I chose the A-10, which is a very, very large plane and takes a little bit of time to build. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna go down, ask our good friend Jason, maybe bribe him a little bit and see if he can build it for me. So let's see what he has to say. Let's get it over here. Look at the Jason. Natural habitat, no laser health for himself. Hey, buddy. Oh, my favorite. I got a question for you. Huh? Can you help me build an 810 piece lodge? 810 piece lodge? Yeah. I think I could do that. Awesome. Got an empty workbench. Well, you'll be on my team then, Team David. Because Alrighty. me and Josh are having to build off and I need some assistance. Here's the Team David. Awesome. All right, so the plan I'm going to choose for my regalo wing challenge is probably one of my favorites. And a matter of fact, if I ever get the opportunity to design a full-scale ultralight or experimental aircraft, this is the plane that I'm going to build, and it's actually called the Sportster. Now, we designed this many years ago, but it's still one of my favorite airplanes to fly because it's gentle enough to be an intermediate four-channel trainer, but it's also advanced enough to give you a full line of aerobatics. Now, we have a mini Sportster. We have a classic swappable Sportster. I even want to get your guys' feedback and see if we should build an XL version of the Sportster because they are truly that awesome. The Sportster has this iconic look that goes back into the 30s to 50s when golden era flight, Reno air racing was alive and well. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this airplane. I'm gonna modify that because I really wanna kinda do a cool twist on a vintage feel, and hopefully all those general characteristics will cross over. All right guys, the Regalo wing projects that they're working on right now, the guys, they're looking fantastic. Uh, but in the meantime, while they're doing that, I have a really cool thing that we just got from our friends over at FlexiSpot. We got a new, awesome E7 desk. I have to put it together. We got a bunch of cool stuff. Um, so I'm gonna put it together. You guys can come along with me on the ride. We'll talk a little more about it later. All right, so I just went down, got some of our motors and printed off some of uh, Ben's BDFs. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put these 2207 motors in here and put these in themselves and hopefully it's gonna give me enough power so I can uh, get this Regala wing to work. We're gonna see. So there's a lot of inspiration behind this Regala wing challenge and a lot of it is stemmed just from the Regala wing itself. This was actually developed as a hang glider back in the early days and also was used by NASA a lot with the early prototypes of trying to bring a satellite back to the ground. Even astronauts got in on the action with creating their own crazy Regalo contraptions. Now Dave and I were also inspired when we went to this year's 2023 Flight Fest and there was a young man out flying on the lines with this huge Regalo wing RC airplane. He was constantly on the line flying this thing around and it looked absolutely incredible. And recently as well, we also took that inspiration from Flight Fest and that young man flying his airplane and we incorporated it in our UDF cup. Now unfortunately because of the weather, it didn't do so good. So Dave and I want one last whack at making this thing fly epic and that's what we're gonna do with today's build challenge. <laughs> Did you do this? What? Did I do what? <laughs> I didn't so, okay. our, <laughs> our laser master, by the way, if you guys buy a kit from us, you'll probably see the stamp that says Jason on it. That is our laser master, Jason McQuist, an amazing pilot, amazing human. And these kits are just like nothing else. I told him to run me a Sportster kit and he gave me a present. How <laughs> did he get his hands on that picture? Rather than frame it. That is beautiful. <laughs> if you guys support us at the store, you may too get a picture of Dave. Maybe we can have one of these put in every hundred kits. Would you sign them, Dave? I would totally sign them just because that is hilarious. <laughs> you guys heard it. All right, thumbs up in the comments if you want to do it. We may just choose to do it anyway. Just let us know. <laughs> so Dave, you have your motors installed, your wing kind of figured out, what's what's next? Yeah, um, right now I'm working on some landing gear. Uh, this thing's pretty big and I, I always hated um, test flying something without landing gear because if you have landing gear, you're already on the ground. When you go to take off, you have more of a chance to recover or even set it back down where if you can launch it, you're committed, something bad's gonna happen or it's gonna go really good. 
Oh no! So I'm doing landing gear and then I have to cover fabric on the wing and get it mounted and we're ready to go. I was on the table. <laughs> So Dave's Regala wing is built with a whole bunch of different 3D printed parts. I'm going old school, I'm going plywood here, and I'm gonna be gluing this together. I got my main uh, piece right here that's gonna hold my eight degree angle off the center post. And I also have my main wing hold down here. And I wanted to build this basically, so eventually what I can do is I can pull the pins and the whole thing's gonna fold up. So basically some of my screws are gonna act as pivot points. Some are just gonna be laid in there to be pins to hold it together structurally. Now, a lot of people don't know that there's different viscosities and thicknesses of glues and different styles of glues for different wood. If you're doing anything with plywood or balsa wood, I'd highly recommend either the medium zap or the thick zap. If you have a lot of gaps or you need to fill some stuff, the thick zap is really good. If you're looking for one solution that can do everything from balsa wood to kind of gap filling and stuff, I really like the medium. You can also speed up your drying with the zap kicker in aerosol form or pump spray. I'm gonna go ahead and glue everything together here, and from that point on, I can move on and start assembling my regalo wing. I'm gonna grab it. I got it. Are you ready? All right, guy. What are you gonna do? You gotta okay, throw that? It's a glide test, but like, you don't have a lot of time. We have just till tomorrow, we gotta get this thing done. And I don't know. I think it's back in the... I'm, I'm worried. Ready, Lee? Uh, as ready as I'm gonna be. Okay, here we go. All right, good catch. Not bad. Not bad. I'm not throwing it. I don't... Let, me, let me put some weight in that. All right, hold on one okay, second. Let me get in position. You ready? Feel better about that? One, two, three. Hey! Oh, that was better. That wasn't was it? good. I'm still not gonna. <laughs> Should we do it again? Yeah, we need to do it again. I think I think I'm gonna need to put the battery all the way back here, which is. Uh, oh yeah. That's a cruiser. That's oh crazy. yeah, she moves. She moves. Yes. Okay, well. I can't see you. I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna tell Dave what we just learned. And you don't either. All right, and that's a wrap. Is that the only thing yes, you have, sir. differential? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and they're close together, so. Yeah, that's the, oh dude, this is, this is, oh no. Yeah, we'll give that a shot. I think my landing gear will What's hold up. What's at stake here? His, his, bragging rights? That's it? I don't know. Pride. That's quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Should be at least a hot dog or something. I like that. Um, yeah, hot dog. Oh, wait, we both get free food. Yeah, okay, hot dogs. Hot dogs, <laughs> all right, and I'll buy them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, wait, so. Can you come over here, Oh Josh? yeah, here, come on to my left there. Is this, is this gonna work? I, I think it is, something's gonna happen. Something. Yeah. All right, three, two, one. Get some air under it. Oh, well, not in the grass. I think something's gonna happen. Do you want me to launch you? Um, I think if we just put it down the runway. All right, let's uh, try this again. They're right there, too. Oh, I'll put it into the ground before I hit them. Okay. Right, Ready, three, Dave? Two, one. I am extremely lacking power. <laughs> yes! All right, well, I moved. Okay, um, crash. I think I need bigger motors. I think you need bigger motors. You may have to go to the prop. Yeah. yeah hard. That's okay, they'll right. be in the right spot. Okay. I'm up. That's why we test these things. Which way do you want me to throw it? Right towards this plane. Just to, you'll just kind of like walk through it and hopefully I'll take it off, but keep it fairly level. Okay, oh. all right. Oh, oh, that's right. so not yeah. fair. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh, geez. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> well, I did cheat You've a got little. some weird creases in your wings, though. Watch out, no, oh, yo. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was a quick return. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. So is it rudder, Josh? Yeah, I got rudder and elevator. Right now, I'm actually, I'm giving throttle and giving down, so I gotta, like, mix this stuff. I don't want that. I figured it'd be a whole new learning experience on how to fly. This is fascinating. All right, I'm just gonna lay it in. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right, so I think you're gonna be fine using power. the power. I need to get my CG and my thrust angle figured out. Probably a new prop. And uh, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick a motor right on the nose. Do it. I like it. Make a little burt on the front. Yeah. All right, we got work to do. <laughs> All right, ready? Ooh, that does some weird stuff. <laughs> it's working. It does turn. 
Well, it turns right really good. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is the craziest thing ever though. <laughs> it doesn't want to turn right. It turns left just fine. When I turn right, it like stalls. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it did cut a hole in my thing, didn't it? I gotta take this one to you guys. I'll get back to you. Now we have a short window here to get these projects done because this weekend is something called Wings of Work at Edgewater Air Park. Now if you guys are new again to flight test, Edgewater Air Park is a location that you guys can come and fly and enjoy. There's camping, there's food, there's all these different activities you can do, even rock crawling, and it's all available to you to be able to congregate as a family and a community. Wings at Work is an event that we have every single year. This will be our third year in a row that we've done it, where we basically put out really cool, unique challenges from combat to limbo to the river run to even some crazy things like pulling streamers with two airplanes attached. This is where so many great people from our community come out and they bring their crazy contraptions to fly and showcase. We want our crazy contraptions to be done, be able to fly, have fun, and even pass the transmitter. Uh, still running. <laughs> Landing with style. Was it? <laughs> Ground flat spin. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been a roller coaster of a ride for me. I had success at first, a little bit, anyways, and it went downhill real quick. I'm back, I got it fixed, it's working great. Just had to make some tweaks and yep. adjustments. Now we've got the flight crew back here behind us. They're gonna be chasing and uh, yeah. I think yours is ready to go too, right? Yeah, no better time too. We are right in the middle of Wings at Work. This is our September event at Edgewater. By the way guys, Edgewater is a flying park for you guys to come out, enjoy, fellowship, fly a lot, crash a lot, and do it all over again. So please, anytime you can come around, make sure you come out, be part of this beautiful event, or come out to an event specifically. All right, let's do all this. Right. <laughs> all right, here we go. I keep trying to use rudder. <laughs> like mine loves to fly high alpha. I just kind of stop and just barely cruise along. Ooh, there's a gust of wind though. They don't, they're not a big fan of wind. No, they're not. I'm gonna try to form up with you here. Not too close. <laughs> Who are you talking to? And my differential Gosh. is very, very sensitive by the way. And then when I make my downhill or down the downwind, it, it, it gets moving. So ironically, the Sportster has is really gentle as its classic configuration. This is ridiculously like stable. <laughs> like you guys can do this. You can basically take pretty much any swappable because they're all pretty much this kind of uh, format and copy exactly what you saw us do here and have your own great flying regala wing. Yeah, and there's there's tons of prints and plans and stuff out there on regalas. It's it's actually really simple. You basically just take a what a uh, 90 degree angle. Yep. You cut your fabric at 90 degrees and then your frame you put at 80 degrees and it just works. And we had a lot of success this time using uh, basically two-sided glass tape Yep. and just taped our fabric on. And one of the best parts about this is everything that we got that was made for the Regala, you can pretty much get from Amazon. All right, community, you gotta build one of these. These are so <laughs> cool. Oh, I stalled. <laughs> um, now, now we did, uh, you know, do a little bit of kit bashing as we call it. And yes. it's, it's a lot of fun because you can take two completely different kits and kind of mash them together and yes. make your own. I, I feel like you could go. land. Hey, I'm, I'm kind of oh, afraid well, to go too. I'm going to go fast. Oh, oh my gosh. word. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm going fast. Mine goes fast enough to where I'm worried that the wing's going to rip off. Uh, you know what? We got our episode. Let's just have some fun. Hey guys, what about a roll? Oh, you ready? Wow. Roll. Barrel roll. Well, um, I don't. I don't think uh, I got anything like that right. in mind. I gotta try it again. I gotta okay, do I'm gonna do a loop. Oh my god! Oh my <laughs> word! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. You switched again, Jeff? No. All right. Big over. All right, these are far more capable than I thought. Yeah. I mean, they're still in one piece. Yeah, I mean, it takes a little bit to get used to flying them just because it's a little bit of a different uh, wing and everything, but they are a blast. Yeah. 
once you kind of relax and realize it's not gonna bite you the way you think it is, you can really push the limits with it, dude. No, this is my other battery. Oh, okay, good. Keep going. All right, I'm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna come down. Okay. Yours looks like a big airliner coming in. <laughs> awesome work. That is so much fun. <laughs> All right, friends, I want to thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Uh, also, thank you so much for the inspiration you give us. You guys have brought us here. I hope this inspired you guys. Take a kit that you love to build, love to fly, especially maybe even one that you crashed and have maybe no wings. Yeah, and make sure you do it with friends too. That always makes it a lot more fun. Definitely. <laughs> now, all these planes that you're seeing us talking about are gonna be linked down below. If you wanna make any of these your first airplane, they'll be down below. You can go check out our store, support us that way as well. And we'll see you next time. See you. Friends, I wanna thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you for joining us in this journey here. We saw a lot of your comments that you guys wanted to see more builds, more approachable airplanes. We heard you, we hope you enjoyed this episode, and also, building scene is upon us. And because building season is upon us, we are really grateful to our friends at FlexiSpot, especially since they sent us this awesome E7 desk here. You guys know we're getting older and more tired, and oftentimes when you're building for many hours, your back takes a toll on it. This FlexiSpot's gonna be perfect for us right here in the studio because now we can do builds, because now we can lead builds whether we're sitting or standing down and hopefully give you better production quality than ever. Now, if you guys are like us and you like building every bit as much as flying, these FlexiSpot's desks are a great solution to be able to enjoy your build without getting fatigued. We even hijacked this E7 before it even got in the production suite because I had to decal my model and frankly, I was really tired. Now this isn't our first FlexiSpot E7 desk. Dave actually received one earlier this year and he has been using it like crazy. Dave had such a good experience with it. We are really excited to be able to get this FlexiSpot desk right in the production suite because now we can add the optional monitors to it, which means now I can see exactly the angle that we're getting and get better production value and better build videos than ever before. And if you guys want to build in style and also save, you can use the code FLIGHTTEST and save $30 on a $500 purchase. Huge shout out to our friends at FlexiSpot and huge shout out to you. We'll see you next time.